All right, guys. So we've already started a little bit today. Um, earlier, we were checking um, our sprinkler systems because some of our lines um, bursted. So that was that. Um, now, uh, my boss is going to uh, be going to another property um, that they run um, and going to go help them. Um, so we are going to be taking out all these tack strips. Um, basically, they're just pieces of wood nailed into the concrete with staples or something coming out from the bottom uh, to hold the carpet into place. Um, but since we don't want to have to pay for them to rip them out, I have to do it. So, um, so I don't know if I can show you. I won't go. Basically, you take a painter, spatula, right? Show it under there. You take a hammer and you hammer on this end, and it comes out. It's not gonna look pretty, um, but oh well. Um, and then later, we are going to be filling in holes with concrete in this lady's apartment. Um, and yeah. Um, we are going to be getting off an hour early today because um, of uh, maintenance appreciation week um, Since it is his last day um, Yeah, get off an hour early So that's fun um, But yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you guys uh, progress from before and after obviously um, It's not really gonna look all great but so, All this brown stuff Right here is going to be the tack strips that we gotta take off. And it is in every room, since every room has carpet. We gotta take all this off. In here as well. Basically, this is probably gonna be an all day thing. It's not in the kitchen, because the car kitchen didn't have carpet, obviously, or in the bathroom, but it does line it. Um, gotta take that off, all that. That um, also goes into a closet, so I guess we'll be going into the closet. Um, and yeah, um, after that, if we still have time, which I doubt it, but if we do, we'll take all the rest of the trash out of here. And yeah. Alright guys, so it's been a long one. Um, I don't know, remember where I last left off from at all. Uh, so I'm just gonna go off of what I remember. Um, last time I think I was doing the trim in the, um, uh, what's it called? The, um, in the room, or not in the room, the, the apartment with uh, no carpet. We were we taking the wood trim off. Um, we got that done. Um, we got everything swept up in the one little pile. Um, and then after, that was before lunch. Um, after lunch, um, we went to a lady's apartment and they had to, or we had to fill up um, holes with concrete. Um, there was only two of them, but it took about four bags of concrete. Um, it was about four bags of concrete. The, the whole reason why it um, um, we had to fill it up was because they had to bust holes in the ground to get to certain pipes um, because uh, one of two, I think two or three of her pipes bursted um, and flooded her whole apartment. Um, so they had to figure out where those pipes were. Um, they found them, fixed them, and it was urgent up to patch it up um, basically. Um, and that was that. Um, all you really have to do for concrete is um, just get a giant bucket, um, pour the concrete in. It's powdery, so it's just a mix. Um, and then take some water, pour some water in. You don't want too much water in it, or else I'll get it too mushy. Um, but you, wanna, you don't want to put too little um, because then it won't um, correctly um, uh, bond to each other, to itself. Um, um, and then. You just gotta take a shovel, mix it around, and take the shovel and then put it in the hole. And then that's basically it. Uh, you put it in the hole, you um, you don't have to, but you can use a little 
a flattener, which is just basically a, a flat piece of metal, it's rectangular on a handle um, that you just, you know, pull it across the concrete top um, and it flattens it out, it makes it look nice and pretty. Um, and yeah, that's basically all that to it. Um, and then after that, we came and um, we basically just put every everything that we used um, back into the storage apartment. And then we put some uh, canisters of like nitrogen and all the other kind of stuff that we use for uh, brazing and all that other stuff in here because we didn't want the, all the gas to expand and blow up the canisters that they're in. So then after that, um, um, and then you just gotta take a shovel mix it around and take the shovel and then put it in the hole and then that's basically it uh you put it in the hole you um you don't have to but you can use a little uh, flattener which is just basically a a flat piece of metal it's rectangular on a handle um that you just you know pull it across the concrete top um and it flattens it out it makes it look nice and pretty um and yeah that's basically all that to it um and then after that we came and um we basically just put every everything that we used um back into the storage apartment and then we put some uh, canisters of like nitrogen and all the other kind of stuff that we use for uh, brazing and all that other stuff in here because we didn't want the, all the gas to expand and blow up the canisters that they're in so then after that um and then now um, we have um, where it's 3.54. Um, so today's maintenance appreciation week. I get up at 4.30. Um, so I'm just doing a bunch of small stuff until it's the end of my shift. Um, uh, basically all I did was take um, a few fans from AC units um, and like a, a filter for one of the AC units too, and I put them in 28. Um, and then I'm about to go up to another apartment, get some white paint. Um, there is like a, a shadow of a clock that was like black or something, and it left an imprint, so I gotta paint over it, make it look all white and pristine. Um, and then yeah. And then if we have time, um, we'll go and pick up some trash in 28. If not, we'll leave that for Monday. Um, it's Friday and we get off an hour early, so it's not really a big deal. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but if any of y'all know, let me know because that's a cool ass bird. <laughs> Look at it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I can show you the painting um, of where the little clack, clock was, click clack was, um, where the clock was. Um, and then I'll show you the before and after. Um, I did forget to show you 28. So when I go over near it, um, I'll show you the aftermath um, of me demolishing all the wooden trim in there. Um, which it didn't take as long as I thought about it was going to be an all day thing, but it wasn't, so that was a good thing. Um, also, partly because I figured like the fast, I figured out the fastest way to do it after like two rooms or one room, so pretty much it. Um, and then I'll give an outro, and then yeah, it's the end of the day. Um, I know a lot of these have been shorter um, recently because um, a lot of these have been just time consuming tasks, um, so there's not much to them. Um, pretty boring, so, yeah.